Good evening. This is Dr. Bones and Nessie Lai. Nessie, what's going on? Well, uh, it has been rather a uh, relaxing day. Trade. Well, I actually studied for my Latin exam on Tuesday, but had some time to finish my uh, new blog post. Um, I posted an interview with Joey Symes, on the loving kind. Um, would be just lovely if you check it out after listening to the show because work while music is presented. Um, you should definitely stick around and listen the songs that light up now. Right. Well, you want to give out your uh, blog link? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's capcamina.blogspot.de. Well, right on. So, as Nessie, as you know, since we talked about this before we got on the show, I was in the U.S. and Michigan for American Thanksgiving and, unfortunately, Black Friday shopping, which wasn't as insane as I thought it would be. But it was a long time up on my feet and not something I'll do again for a long time. So I'm glad it only comes once a year because I was finished <laughs> after about 10 hours, as ridiculous as that sounds. <laughs> so first up, we're going to get to a few uh, songs from Gypsy Ghost. And we haven't heard these yet. This is off their new EP that came out in August called The Bird Language. And the first one we're going to get to is called Evil, and this is a great song. The whole EP is good, so if you don't have it, try to check it out. And let's get to it, and we'll listen to Evil. Dig it. That was the Gypsy Ghost with mm. Evil, a very cool song after a latest EP which came out in August called The Bird Language. Next up, just before we get to, uh, we'll get that in a mo just a moment first. And so, Nessie, um, what were your thoughts on Evil? I know you have the EP. What did you think about it? Uh, it was um, very nice listening to you because it's melodically fluent and it's just dreamy and sound and rather calm, but it still is significant because the vocals are very... Um, very distinct in sound. They are quite, quite low in sound, or rather dim, but they still make it to strike whilst listening to the song. 
Well, I tell you what, uh, I've seen them twice, and both times I was not disappointed. They put on such a good show, and they are such a good bunch of guys, because there's about eight of them. And I was lucky enough to uh, talk to them, like not only talk to them, but uh, do their show live for their EP release. And uh, I got a picture with one of the percussionists, Tom, and Tom is a super cool guy. And uh, they're just a bunch of literally relaxed musicians, and you couldn't ask for anything better. Next up, we're going to get to two newer songs by the Dead Sea Navigators. Not brand new, but songs we haven't heard yet on the show. And the first one here is called Rue Gilakar, which means Street of the Heart. So let's fuss and list and we'll talk about it in just a second. Here we go, Dead Sea Navigators. All right, that was Dead Sea Navigators with Rue Gilles Le Coeur, which means straight of the heart. Nessie, what are your first thoughts on this one? Well, I always uh, like listening to the Dead Sea Navigators because it just like the overall sound of the music. It's it's rather laid back and sound and has beautiful piano melodies. And I just uh, liked how it started rather um, 
which is which is rather yeah, unusual for them that it started quite dynamic in sound and just took off the dynamics throughout the track and uh it just was beautiful because uh, the vocals um blended well with the piano sound and was just nice to listen to it and was very melodious and sound and very ambient too so it, it's really good too well, right on and on that note i actually uh talked to steph uh just a few hours ago from the dead sea navigators he didn't give away too much but uh we're hoping soon because ness and i pretty much know exactly what the other one knows which means uh a few months ago they were waiting for their producer to get off vacation so they could finish uh the ep and that's as far as we know so far and they're working on a video as well so hopefully we'll have more info for you soon and uh i'll be uh sending steph a dm to find out for you guys what's going on because obviously i'm very curious myself because i'm a big dead sea navigators fan now uh <laughs> all all in one bre- all in one breath too <laughs> So, um, also, just one more quick mention of this weekend, since uh, Canada is kind of starting with what's called Black Friday in the U.S., which is insane shopping days, and I went for my second year in a row, and luckily it was not that insane this time around, but still very stressful, especially when you're in a store with so many people, and it just drives you nuts and i'm not going to go into too much more detail because i'll get a little carried away and i i i don't i don't think you guys want to hear that so we'll we'll leave it at that but anyway happy happy be home and happy be doing this show with you tonight nessie so next up we're going to take another one from the dead sea navigators a newer one not brand new but one we haven't heard before on the show this one is called one of us dig it
All right, that was Dead Sea Navigators with One of Us. Nessie, what were your thoughts on this one? Well, it's definitely another great song of them, and it just shows how um, how skillful they are with arranging the vocals and the instrumentals, and it just fits perfectly all together. It's, it's still um, rather laid back and very harmonious in sound, but it has progression in it too, and it just uh, evolves nicely, and it's really pleasant to listen to it, especially with the piano um, focused melodies. It's it just dreamful in sound, but still very thrilling. Yeah, well, exactly what you said. <laughs> 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 no, it was a very good tune, and obviously, I always love Dead Sea Navigators. And just before we get to our next new tune. I just want to read a quick one, a quick tweet here from Mike at Sir Mop. And oh. what he said, just because we'd love uh, to have him be part of the show if he ever has the time. And he says, uh, mesmerizing vocals and love the progression. Thrilling, exclamation point. So there you go, Steph and the Dead Sea Navigators. You know, we got tons of fans out there. So next up, we are going to get to a new Tover song. Which is off their newest demos, which you can find on their band camp. And this song is called Never Trust a Girl with a Curly Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this one is a good tune. Yeah, it should be in. Yeah. <laughs> Trust a girl with a curly smile. <laughs> now, see what were your thoughts on this one? Well, it definitely has great rhythm and it has energetic and vibrant vocals. And I really like the dynamic um, drum sound on the classic guitar riffs. And it just well fit perfectly together and just makes for a good listening experience. And I kind of regret I haven't listened to 
the songs of the band yet. And it definitely will be after the show, probably tomorrow, after I slept some, <laughs> some hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, this song, I agree with you. I like it because it's very rhythmic and it's easy to get into. It's one of those songs you can tap to, but you can also kind of move to as well. So especially yeah. if there are a couple of breakdowns, you know, it works out very nicely. I like the, the whole arrangement, the whole entire song. And uh, this is the one song that uh, I don't get tired of. So next up, we're going to hear another one from their new set of demos. This one is called Can You Hear Me by the Tolbert Band. <laughs> Thank you. 
hear me nessie what were your thoughts on this one well it's definitely it definitely points out that he has there's very distinctive vocals on this track and i really like listening to it because it's it's kind of raspy but still very melodic in sound and it's just um it's just the whole concept that fits greatly together and it's just melodic and very pleasant to listen to and i really like the guitarists on this one they were rather reserved and sound but still very imbuing and made for a great atmosphere in the whole song oh well, you know obviously i agree with you and it's just one of those songs that for, for me it's a, a cool kind of chill like mellow melodic song that easy to relax to you know one of those, one of those songs kind of kind of help you kind of clear your head a little bit and the urchins okay. i'm i'm always digging them and we, we literally just got the song maybe an hour ago so Props to the Urgents for letting us play that song because it was a really good tune. Uh, Tolbert Band, sorry, because we're going to get the Urgents in a second. My mistake. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> and Nessie, why didn't you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> I just was listening and, and just nodding my head and agreeing. Yeah. So, <laughs> just in silence. <laughs> yeah, no, that was my mistake. So Can You Hear Me by the Tolbert Band, a very good tune. And now we're going to get to the Urgents with a brand new song we got about an hour ago called... Getting old too soon. So dig this one.
brand new by the urchins and that was getting old too soon what do you think of that one nessie well i really like the gentle but still eccentric in some kind of uh, eccentric vocals and it was uh, nice listening to you because uh, the progression of the song was very melodic and harmonic in sound and it just was in scheme and it just sounded all nicely put together and i really liked it well rather it is a reserve drum sound on it and it just gave the constant um beat in the whole um song well right on you know it is a very good tune and i just love the the kind of the high pitch like a uh, soul breakdown during the chorus it really mixes in very well with the song the lyrics are very very cool i can really dig them so next up we're gonna get to a brand new one by the wild young hearts and i just got it from them the day it is on soundcloud here is spend the night you look like an angel a true gypsy soul can i keep you company i got nowhere to go your skin tastes like candy Stop the snow. All right, that was a brand new one from the Wild Young Hearts that was called Spend the Night. This is a really, really cool tune. It's melodic in sound. It's got great lyrics and just an easy one you can get into and just kind of chill out to, just like the Wild Young Hearts do with their other songs, author EP. And Nessie, what do you think? Yeah, it's just very, well, I guess it's in key and sound, but still um, the vocals are rather laid back and still very calm, but but they have this very, um, well, let's put it that way, very cocky and raw, raw timbre too. And it's just exciting to see how it all, um, how it all mingles well together. And it's just, um, it just provides a very interesting listening atmosphere. And it's just, as you said, it's, it's music 
to relax too, but it just um, to excite to see how the song progress and how the development within the song just goes smoothly all together. Right on. Next up, we're going to get to another new one by the Relays. This is called You Invented Horror. That was the relays with you invented horror. That's gonna wrap it up for this portion of the show. We're gonna shut down here for a minute and we're gonna start back up in a few minutes with this, some more new tunes and some newer tunes uh, to the show. We'll be playing those as well. So stick around. We'll be back in a few minutes. Until then, bones out. Uh, thanks for listening. And we'll be back in about five, 10 minutes. All right, dig it.